Now before we begin the mesh analysis, I want to very quickly summarize everything we learned about nodal analysis. So just a quick summary. First of all, never write KCL for the ground node. Anytime I see a student write a KCL equation for the ground node, I know they haven't been doing the homework. Even if you do it correctly, all you're going to get is a dependent equation. Doesn't do you any good. Second, for most problems, it is sufficient to write KCL for the essential nodes. In other words, the nodes with three or more branches. But I want to emphasize, it is perfectly acceptable to also include KCL for the non-essential nodes too. So for example, if you are not certain whether or not you need a non-essential node, include the equation. It's not going to hurt. It simply adds a little more complexity to the problem. And in some cases, the voltage at a non-essential node may be what the problem asks for, so you have to include it. Doesn't hurt. Third, don't write KCL for a defined node. In other words, a node where a voltage source defines that voltage, unless you also need to know the currents for the voltage sources that are connected to that node. Number four, a voltage source creates a constraint between two nodes that must be included. Either you have to write it on the schematic or you have to write a constraint equation. And finally, an additional equation which is written in terms of the node voltages is required for each dependent source variable. The only exception is if the dependent source variable actually is a node voltage already, in which case it's redundant to write it. So keep all these together, all these in mind. What you need to keep in mind is this, KCL for each undefined node plus your constraints for each voltage source plus any dependent source variable equations. Add those together. And if you write everything you need, you will find that the number of equations will equal the number of variables. And this gives you your nodal analysis solution. So keep this in mind. Anytime I see students say, I'm not getting an answer, I can't solve it, almost always they have forgotten either a dependent source variable equation or a constraint equation. They can write the KCL properly, but they forget the others. You've got to remember those. KCL plus constraint plus DSV. Beyond that, what you need more than anything else to do well in nodal analysis is practice, practice, practice. Learn the technique until it's second nature, and it will serve you well in the rest of this course.